Okay so, since my last video about the snake which got a pretty cool success, I asked you to make a board featuring the snake, and I actually received a lot of propositions, because I spent 6 hours and a half to test everything. So you guys voted even you were only few, and then here are the results. But this is a board made by HY which actually won the contest. The board is called Demi Medusa Armies and feature some. 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 What are even these names? Don't worry for this, this is my job, let me explain to you. God damn it I lost my hammer, let me find it. This board is a classic symmetric board without any special rules. Your snake may promote to Anidra or any other piece of the board. However, all the non-snake pieces have Medusa abilities where nearby enemy pieces can't move but still attack. The Lobsteuriale move and capture forward like an Alfie land backward like a first, the Medus nail move and capture like a dog plus one square forward, the Stinomura move and capture like a knight forward and on the side backwards. And you have two pieces looking like a Medusa, a Crab's Logorgon which combines the patterns of the Medus nail and the Stinomura, and the Maedar which is just a regular king with Medusa ability. So considering your field, the best tactic here is to... Finally I got back my hammer. So we may now start the game. This game opposes the Chesscraft Grandmaster Milko Popetsov against the sneaky Kuvan Chase Snake Daraglu. All these pieces are really awkward, so I'll surely try to save my snakes to promote them to Hydras and then win the game. So here we go Lobsteriel to E3. Snake A to B5. Very aggressive. Let's actually threat this snake with my other Lobsteriel. Snake to c4. Here even this snake is blocked I can't capture it, but I can do this lovely jump and be able to capture it on the next turn. Or not. Fine, Stenomura to c3. Lobsteriel to g4. I don't see the plan here unless he wants to trade, but as I want to keep my snakes alive, I won't allow it. Lobsteriel to f4. Now his snake is hanging, but I can even win more tempos. So snake f to e4. Snake h to g6. Oh yeah, this would count as a trade and I don't want that. So I'll capture the snake instead. Crab slug org and to d6. I don't like that, this piece is too weird to fully understand it, so I'll be careful for now. Crab slug org and to c4. Dude, this guy is so aggressive. But paradoxically, I'm winning on an exchange. Did you spot it? Lobsteriel captures, snake recaptures, snake recaptures. Crab slug gorgon takes c2. Oops, not so winning after all. As this gorgon is blocked, I'll pretend I saw nothing and develop a snake. Stenomura to f6. Let's actually paralyze this thing. Snakey to d6. Oh, so the computer wants also to save his snakes, interesting. But I'm still in trouble on my field, so I'll go full testosterone. Mida to e2. Stenomura to c3, let's put my snake on a5. Medusa nail to a6. Man. He'll try to look to every counter threat to save his slug organ. Fine, Medusa nail to a3. Snake to h6. Oops, my lobsteriel is trapped, but you know, I'm okay for a trade. Okay this gets spicy, I gotta protect with my Stenomura. Snake B to C5. 
Okay, so I actually misclicked while controlling the pattern of my Stenomura. Snake captures, Snake 3 captures, Stenomura to H7. Snake F6 is forced, Stenomura to G5. I'm really in a bad shape now. Stenomura to G4. Snake 6 to E5. Okay, the threat is to go for my other Stenomura, but as it would result as a trade, I don't mind. Let's develop our Medu Snail to go to his Stenomura. Snake to B4. Oops, I didn't see that, but this is still a trade so Medu Snail to G3. Stenomura to D4 check. Very good move because now, I can't go to his Crab Slug Organ anymore. So Mida to F2. Snake captures, Snake recaptures. Stenomura captures, Medu Snail recaptures. Stenomura to B5. Wow, a lot of things actually happened. Now my Medu Snail is threatened but I feel more concerned about the snake in the center which can protect later the Crab Slug Organ, so I shall go for this type of trade. Stenomura captures, Medu Snail captures. Lobsterial to d6, and I'm now paralyzed. My field is actually bad, now that I see that my a snake is also threatened. But I have only one move which can potentially reverse the table. Stenomura to e3, and his slug organ is lost. Stenomura to c4. Stenomura captures, Medu Snail captures, and my crab slug organ is now free. Stenomura takes t2. Well tried but my meter is still here to block you. And now the game is gonna be easy to finish. Well this game wasn't so intense than that, this is somehow easier than expected. And somehow, I hear some of you wanting a second game. Yeah, that's what I heard also. So on the second place of the contest, we have a board made by Cube Lane, called West Hall. The board looks very simple and features only some knights and a monk which is a combination between a bishop and a dog, some kind of bishop. However, there is a hole in the center and the snakes promote to Hydra on the two last ranks. So, I guess this time the game would be a lot more intense. Let's go for it. With this kind of board, I guess the plan is to control the center to be sure that any snake wouldn't cross the hole in the center. So snake D to C4. Snake E to D6. Snake C to D4. Knight to C7. Alright, let's now put the knights in the center. Knight to e6. Very aggressive. I guess I'll just build a strong structure. So snake 1 to e3. Knight to d7. Knight to c2. Knight to b6. He really seems to enjoy his knights, anyway snake 1 to b3. Snake to e8. Okay, it's time to become aggressive. Snake to f5. Knight to c7. Excellent, let's try to control the whole king side. Snake f to e6. I kinda like the way my knights are actually placed so I'll develop my monk. Snake captures, snake recaptures. Snake to e7. I've now a nice square. Snake d to e6, planning to promote next turn. Of course he doesn't allow it, so I'll need some support. Knight to e4. Monk to d8. Okay. So listen crows, when you want to control a square guarded by a lot of defense, you can slowly replace your army, 
or you're just as brain dead as me and in this case I'll throw a strike into the snake pit. Snake recaptures, monk recaptures. And now I threat to promote next turn. Knight to d9, good defense. So I'll need one more thing to break through. Snake to f4. Monk to f6. A nice counterplay with a nice fork. But I guess this is still fine. Knight to e3. Monk takes b2. I'll take a high risk now by not paying attention to the monk but I guess the game worths it. Snake to e7. Monk takes a2. Snake promotes. Monk takes b3 check. Ok troubles begin, king to d2. Knight to c4 check. Gosh, he really throws something. Knight takes knight, monk to b4 check. King to d3. Normally there is no check anymore. Ok perfect, he's no desperate. Snake captures and promotes. King to d8. Ok crows, puzzle time. Here white has mate in 3, can you spot it? I give you 10 seconds. Ok here is the solution. Hydra to f9 check, king to d9, monk to e7 with mate next move. And my opponent is so desperate he doesn't even sacrifice his monk. So this was a really better game, I hope you enjoyed a lot these two games and that. Not so fast. What's wrong this time? I played two boards, you should be happy. You just complained about a real cool board that wasn't spicy as you like, so I may have something to punish you. So I would play a third board? Wow, I never did that. This is a board made by Rodrigo Alvaro Santo. Seriously? This board looks so inoffensive. The dogs can originally castle, so be careful. And? Also the king is really limited, this is an horizontal croaking. Well, I don't see anything threatening on this board, I mean what could go- Well, I may have underestimated this board but just a little. So here we go for another try. And as this game wasn't in the previous sequence, I may win this time. A3. Snake B to C4. Snake to A2. Dog to B6. Dog to B1. E4. E3. A4. The plan is actually to restrict all the squares for his snake then push a peasant. Snake to E2. Dog to E5 castle, and now his snake is dead. Before. Why not, peasant captures, peasantry captures. This is now my time. B3. Peasant captures, peasantry captures. Snake to D3. Actually his peasant structure is better than mine, and if I decide to exchange the snakes I would be paralyzed. So I guess snake to d4, snake to e2. Very aggressive. Dog t to c1. Dog to b5. Actually the position is pretty stuck, and it seems kinda drawish because of the peasant structure, but I have some idea. Dog to b2. Dog to a6. Dog b t c2. Snake to e5. Oops, seems like I have to accept this exchange. Snake captures. Dog recaptures. This is now time to get some risky sacrifice. Dog to c3. And now my peasant structure is gonna crush its entire field. The game is over.